Hello students, in the previous video we have found the distance of a given point from a straight line and now in this lecture we shall find the distance between two parallel lines. So consider two parallel lines as shown where the first one is y equals mx plus c1, the second one is y equals mx plus c2. Since both the lines are parallel, the slopes are the same. So the slope of both the lines is n. Now you have the first line L1 intersecting the x-axis at this point. So what is this point? At this point, the y value is 0. So let's find. So you have y equals mx plus c1. Put y equal to 0. So 0 equals mx plus c1 or x equals minus c1 by m. So the coordinate of this point is minus c1 by m comma 0. So let this point be point A and I need to find the perpendicular distance between these two points. So let me consider the perpendicular distance. Let the distance be D. Now the general expression to find the distance of a given line from a point A is given by the expression. We already know that the distance is AX1 plus BY1 plus C divided by root of a square plus b square magnitude. So here what is x1 y1? This point a is x1 y1. So let me substitute the values here where the line happens to be L2. So now consider line L2. So we have y equals mx plus c2. Take the term y to the right hand side. So you get mx minus y plus c2 equals 0. Compare this with ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now what is a? a equals m. What is b? b equals minus 1 and c equals c2. So the value of a, b, c is known. And then you have x1. x1 equals minus c1 by m and y1 equals 0. Now substitute these values in the expression, in the formula which is known to us. So you have D equals AX1, A is M, into minus C1 by M plus B is minus 1 into Y1 is 0 plus C is C2. So the C is C2 divided by root of A square plus B square. That is A square is M square plus 1. Observe m and m gets cancelled. So this is minus c1 and this is c2. So this is nothing but c2 minus c1 divided by root of 1 plus m square magnitude. So either you can consider c2 minus c1 or you can even consider c1 minus c2 because we are only taking the magnitude. So in some textbooks it would also be given as c1 minus c2 divided by root of 1 plus m square so they both are the same. So you only take the difference, you only take the magnitude between C1 and C2 and that gives the distance between the two parallel lines. Let's take an example. Find the distance between the two parallel lines 3x minus 4y plus 7 equals 0 and 3x minus 4y plus 5 equals 0. So observe this is C1 which is 7 and let this be C2 which is 5 and a is 3 and then b is minus 4. So substitute the value. So d equals c1 minus c2. We just have to take the difference. So 7 minus 5 magnitude divided by a square which is 3 square plus b square is minus 4 square. 7 minus 5 is 2 divided by 3 square plus 4 square is root 25. So it is 2 by 5 units. So once you know the formula, it's very easy to find the distance between two parallel lines. So do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads. And thanks for watching.